Greetings, Earthlings. My brother and I came to get Auntie Anne's from the mall, but we found out they are all closed. Due to this, we are going to make our own. We abducted the manager of the local Auntie Anne's. We are not going to hurt him, but we made him give us the recipe and let us use his kitchen. Here it is, the beloved recipe. I think we can do this. Let me get my reading glasses. Flour, salt, sugar, yeast, and water. Oops, sorry for the mess. We're going to need a spoon. Now take one teaspoon each salt and sugar. The last dry ingredient is one packet of instant yeast. Now to get down to business. Add one cup of warm water to our dry ingredients. I suggest stirring first with a spoon before moving to your hands. We are going to form a ball to knead it. If it feels dry, add a little more warm water. We are ready to begin kneading. Get in there. Don't be shy. We have our ball. Put it aside and cover it with a towel. Let it rest 30 minutes. Cheddar cheese. We are going to make a beer cheese dipping sauce. This poor human doesn't have a grater, so I am going to cut it by hand. Yummy. Meet me by the pan. Here we have three tablespoons each, butter and flour. We are going to make a roux. Put this over low flame. We are ready for the next ingredient. Beer. We are going to add half of a cup of a lager of your choice. Next, we will slowly add one cup of milk. Continuously whisk so no lumps form. I'm adding the second half of a cup of milk. After one minute, we add some seasonings. I have some salt, pepper, and paprika. This human is running low, but the earth is your oyster. I'm adding Dijon mustard, 
You can even do Worcestershire sauce. Time for the cheese. Drink some beer and stir until melted. your dough into six equal sections. We are going to roll each section out into 12 inch strips. They make it look so easy in the mall. I found an airborne method most effective. Ta-da! Cut into about 12 equal pieces. Time to take a dip. Let the pretzels soak in your solution for a few minutes. I think I hear our hostage yelling. I'll be done soon. We are going to dip half of our pretzels in salt. The other half will have cinnamon sugar. Place them on a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper. Keep them at 450 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. All done. Bellissimo! I melted a tablespoon of butter for the cinnamon sugar pretzels. Stir them a bit, then add your sugar coating. Okay, a little more. Ready to serve. Let me check that they aren't poisoned first. My people love mustard. That's delicious. Last but not least. This animal is lucky the pretzels are done. He looks tasty too. Okay, let's see what my brother thinks. He's still with the hostage. I hope he didn't kill him. Hi. I see you're holding it down. Try these pretzel bites.
These are cinnamon sugar. Are they as good as Auntie Anne's? 